Yo, this is all about the steez. Uh, all hell, rap motherfuckers get back, store rounds. Kick back with a six pack, yeah, we gon' do what he want, leave another zip pound. A podcast levels far beyond that. This ain't no bullshit, it's marsh pits and all that. Real talk with a steel got tasted. Rat still spill cheers on your faces. Gone ape shit, blaze it and take it in. Rap talks with crack rock. Yeah. Metal heads unite with a grin. Goddamn master man, that's real shit now. So open up your mind to smoke a bowl. A bunch of pie heads getting stoned, you know how it go. It's the new show on the block. 100% on rock top. That is right. Rat Talk is back, everybody. Thank you all for tuning in. They're tuning into the live feed, actually, also. They're recording this shit live, so thank you guys for tuning in. I am here with the notorious, the great, the motherfucking kick-ass ice bag injury, guys. What is up? What's good, El Monty? What's up, dude? What's up guys? Shit. <clears throat> well, there is two other members. Obviously, it's not just you two guys. Well, three, like three other. <laughs> yeah, three other members. I'm sorry. <laughs> Can't math right now. Um, it's like 10 other members. Everybody's ice bag injury. <laughs> everybody. We are <laughs> all ice bag injury. <laughs> yeah, everybody is. Uh, ice bag injury is this fucking badass hardcore sound that comes out, uh, drives from El Monte, the San Gabriel Valley, Los Angeles, California. You guys fucking bring the heat, man. I love what you're putting out so far. Six and it's two a, fucking six. It's fucking Gotta awesome, man. Show, and man. I'm so glad to see you, CJ. You're a very close personal friend of mine. I'm so glad to see you put all this together and you make it happen. You're cute. It's fucking awesome, dude. Thank you. <laughs> love you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, because uh, we, we were talking about it earlier, we, you know, Ice Bag kind of uh, derived from our little circle of friends and everything. Yeah. Do you remember the first time it ever came up? This is yeah. my memory of it. This is how I remember it. it was uh, Jesse's parents were gone. Yes. And so we wanted to have a fucking barbecue. We went to, where, where did we go? I can't remember. We went to Jesse's house. No, I know. But where do we go to get supplies and everything? We go oh. to like Albertsons or. Yeah, no, you guys went to Albertsons or Northgate or some shit. Some shit. Some we shit that yeah. took like two hours. That took way longer <laughs> than it should have. <laughs> and we fucking get back and CJ's there waiting for us. We're like, all right, let's go. Let's bring all the shit in. And it's you. You have the ice bags, right? No, Jesse did. Was it Jesse that I, had the I, ice bags? I, I, I put them down. To pick them up, and I was like, "Nah, they're too heavy." And then, like, and then Jesse's Jesse came like, and like, picked them up. Ah, man, let, let me get these. <laughs> and then, fuck it. And then fuck we're it. okay. Yeah, this is okay. This is how it happens. We're walking down the walkway, and Jesse hits himself somehow with the ice bags, and he's like, "Ah, oh, fuck!" And like holds up the group, uh, like because we're all walking behind yeah. him, and we're like, "What the fuck? Like, what's wrong?" He's all, "Sorry, this fucking ice bag gave me an injury." Yeah, and then and fucking, I was like, "Dude, that sounds like a yeah, badass I, band name." I vaguely remember him. He like dropped the ice bag, and something he, like, he, like, like that. Hit yeah, his hand or some shit, and it was like fat for the rest of the day. Yeah, or some shit like that. Yeah, but yeah, his words were, "This ice bag gave me this injury, or gave me an injury," and I was yeah, like, "Dude, like, that sounds like injury. a badass <laughs> name." Ice bag injury. Ice bag injury. Ice bag injury. And then that was. <laughs> That was it, dude. Everywhere we fucking go, we're like, hey, is Ice Bag Injury playing this show? <laughs> <laughs> you got any Ice Bag to fucking throw on? <laughs> well, now everybody knows where And now, er, now it's a fucking from. real thing, dude. It's so awesome. And I... And, I can you can already tell that our friends have you have all of uh, all of our full support, man. Like yeah, I know, thank I you. I got the fucking thank shirt on. I threw the sticker on the refrigerator. <laughs> stickers stickers, on, that shit. Yeah, stickers on the fucking phone. I mean, it's already coming off, but who cares? That we'll means go, I get we'll to put this one, one on. Yeah, no. <laughs> This one, the, this is the the special exclusive one. See, I can hold shit up now and like show people. It's weird. No, no it was like <clears throat> with ice bag, like people weren't going to let me live that down because like, obviously we were going to call like our band like ice whatever bag. you know, like yeah, like whatever <laughs> we were going to name it at the time. Mm-hmm. But then everybody's like, no, nah, you got to call it ice bag. You got to call it ice bag. Like you've been repping that for so long, and it's just like fuck. I know, because you, like, you guys fuck. just wanted to, to put a band together. You know, like yeah. you, I mean, I'm pretty sure you didn't know that you were jumping in on this like. Legacy, this legend of a band, I, I guess, within uh, within our group of friends, like it's a band that no that everybody talks about, but nobody's ever seen. Yeah, like, nah, not really. <laughs> yeah. yeah, nobody knew. I think only like Anthony like knew. He's like, yeah, I'm down for Ice Bag. And I was just like, all right, well, let's fucking fuck it. Let's just do it then. Mm, and let's then, just see what happens. <laughs> so that's how that came together. But uh, yeah, nobody was gonna let me live that name down, unfortunately. So I could <laughs> I could have started like ten other bands, ten and none of you bands. guys would have supported them. Like you guys would have only mm. supported Ice Bag. That would have been the real deal. I mean, it, it, it really has, though. Like, our, all of our friends have your fucking shirts. All of our, you mm-hmm. know, we're, we're putting your name out. I post your guys' flyers all the fucking right, time they, whenever you guys have a show, me. you know. I mean, I, I would love to make it to one, but you guys are playing in buttfuck Egypt and shit. Yeah, I know. Yeah, dude. When we play local, like, show up to those. Don't bother going to, like, the 50-mile the, the ones. ones the, the what was it? Laguna Niguel? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, 
Was how did that show go? How did, how did that? Uh, it was fun. Well, uh, okay. Let's uh, before we go before we start talking specifics and everything. Uh, why don't you uh, talk about what 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 ice bag was to you guys? What, what do you guys want to put out there as far as like uh, your message? I guess get into the the um, typical mess- band interview shit. Message as far as like lots of hate. Yeah, mm-hmm. me and me and Steven obviously are people that know it. we're just fucking angry. Right, and this is like this is the only outlet we have for fucking music. All that hate. Mm-hmm. I, <laughs> all I mean, you we've talked about it before angry. too. You, 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 you obviously love music. You're that's oh, your, yeah. pretty much your, your life, your outlet. How long have you have you been uh, pursuing? Well, not pursuing, but living living it. I, I guess. Well, you know, how long have you been living the music life? Shit, dude. Since I was uh, probably in like fifth grade that's when i first picked up my dad's acoustic guitar oh yeah. shit yeah. so he you so your dad played he, he was a musician yeah he was before he got paralyzed but that's a whole another story. Oh, man. Well, yeah. <laughs> another rock and roll story yeah another <laughs> rock and roll story exactly so yeah probably like fifth or fourth grade i would say same here same thing yeah I mean, that's around i feel like that's around <laughs> the time when you start discovering things because like for our age group it was like k-rock Basically, yeah. was playing actually like good music back then, you know, like late '90s, early 2000s. So that's what we grew up with, you know. Like mm-hmm. you'd listen to like Pennywise and Bad Religion and Offspring and all that shit that they were playing on K Rock, right? And that just like, and then Tony Hawk games, you know, came around, and then I yeah, mean, that fun, also mm-hmm. and those soundtracks had everything from hip hop to hardcore to metal to fucking slam to like everything. So it's just like brains. Yeah. yeah, and then like you know you hit like your seventh and eighth grade year, and you might start like connecting with other people wearing band shirts, and then like you know once you get into high school, you know it's, it's over. Like you mm-hmm. start going to like local gigs and shows and then you know it just it just starts off like that but uh, i definitely feel like that's like where a lot of us like started is like that fourth fifth sixth grade like era everybody that's when you start like you know like registering like oh i like i like i like this shit you know what i mean that's like that's when you start getting like your personality like for, yeah for music and stuff okay and then so you are uh obviously lead vocal you uh yeah your lead vocals you are lead guitar Mm-hmm. Yeah, that and was actually vocals. unplanned. And we, back yeah, vocals. we actually both wrote to be guitarists, but both of you guitarists. Yeah. Oh, okay, uh, why? Why didn't that? Why didn't, uh, why didn't that? Happen? I don't know. We just weren't happy with getting somebody else to be the vocalist, so we were just like, and okay. I, I had all the lyrics written. I've been fucking writing since like you know freshman year in high school, so it was just like, fuck it, let me do it. And we yeah. recorded his vocals on the on the album, so. yeah. which I actually didn't know until I really listened to it. And I was like, Oh shit, that's fucking CJ. Yeah. Actually, you wanted to give it a, uh, away was, um, uh, fuck. What was it? Where you're, you're breathing, you're gasping for air at the end of it. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. <gasps> That, that, yeah, when I listened to that, I was like, Oh shit, that is CJ. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard that, that noise before. <laughs> that was, uh, that was my idea to keep that on there. I told him to keep doing that. Cause he, his, he was losing his voice. Yeah. We were sound checking. Yeah. And, it just sounded really funny, you know what I mean. So I was like, "Hey, keep doing keep that." Keep doing that. I, yeah. I mean, fuck yeah! I made for a great yeah. part on the uh, that, on the track. Yeah, that song. We we had we had like we had recorded like four songs that day on vocals, mm-hmm. and that was like towards the end. I was just fucking dying and just like sound checking for the last <laughs> one. And then fucking, this fucking guy hit that record button. Was all looking at me and shit, and was just like, "Got him! Got him! Got him!" And now that shit's like forever in there. I was like, "Fuck!" <laughs> yeah, it's a fucking it's a funny part, dude. <laughs> and every time we heard it, we would laugh. Yeah, yeah it's it was so good. Great. It's still funny. I think it's fucking hilarious. It, 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 it's it, comes, so, it is hilarious. Yeah, sometimes it takes you by the surprise. I'm like, "Oh yeah, that's in there." I was like, oh. <laughs> "So you guys uh, basically." do all the writing for ice bag then like 95 percent of it yeah. yes yeah. Uh, well i mean do you, do you mm, also like write the uh do you also write like the bass parts yeah, yeah. too mm-hmm. right yeah. the bass line okay so i guess we even the drums yeah, you, yeah. yeah. everybody yeah. everybody like in this band like is capable and able to write to write mm-hmm. and we do get together to like play things but it's just the process goes so much faster when it's me and him write something record it and then show mm-hmm. everybody and show and everybody it's like do them. you guys like this yes yeah. no change this change that okay come back with something new it's just so much faster because you know like you get everybody in the room like all, all like everybody should be writing together like that that is like legitimately mm-hmm. band thing but like a majority of bands like usually one or two three people will like write it anyway right, most so of it's it just, anyway. yeah it's yeah. just so, like our the system we have just allows us to get a lot more done with the time that we have so it just it works out mm-hmm. and i mean dude you guys put out that first album fast i mean yeah, it, it, like i mean it months. is an album yeah yeah two months dude seriously like it was like oh yeah see just got ice bag injury going two weeks later oh fuck he's got the album out I'm like dude yeah, it is and fucking, you put it out everywhere you put it out on band caps free on band camp 
uh, SoundCloud. Uh, yeah, Sound SoundCloud is it on SoundCloud? No, it's not on SoundCloud. Not SoundCloud. Oh, okay, but, but it's iTunes, on, and, iTunes, yeah. Amazon, Spotify, Spotify. Spotify. Yeah, yeah that's what I listen. Yeah, that's what I listen to. Yeah, I, I would definitely say for quality wise, Spotify is probably the best place to listen to, mm-hmm. or Apple mm-hmm. Music. Those are probably the two best places because like. My you answer. know, like record mixing, like it all like flows. You know? oh, okay. like, if you listen to it on Bandcamp, like it stops, like you know, it was songs in, so you don't get like the like transitions and stuff like that. But, like, oh, you know, okay. Worked on, but uh, yeah, but yeah, Spotify on Spotify and everything, everything kind of flows a little better. Yeah, but yeah. if you're listening to the <clears throat> album in full, <clears throat> it just the transitions are better. So then, uh, we'll get into who who would you have in the band right now? There's obviously you two guys, but you mentioned Anthony, who is your bassist. Yeah. Then we have uh, Stephen Miranda, Chaotic Stephen. He played in like, uh, yeah. He, he, I don't remember what band it was like. Those deathcore bands and stuff. They're like Ivan's band he used to play with and stuff. Uh-huh. And then uh, we have uh, Michael. Michael Nunez on drums again. So we never playing again together mm-hmm. again. We haven't played in like ten years. So. Yeah, you guys were in a lot of yeah. bands together. Yeah, back we in played the day. from like 08, no, like 07. What was to it? Like uh, Cyclone B? Yeah, yeah, that was like <laughs> 10, almost 10 years ago. So, yeah, it's fun playing with Michael again. Okay, so, I mean, uh, and then, Steve, how many, um, how many bands have you been in since for, uh, prior to this? Mm. Let's see, I, I, I would consider my, my first actual band that like I recorded with would be above the rest. It was like some hardcore punk band. And where'd you guys play out of? Uh Monrovia. Oh, okay. And then uh with this same drummer, we started like this like death metal like I don't even know like what kind of crossover it was. It was like some <laughs> shitty It was fucking heavy, that's what it was. It yeah, was I don't know, dude. It was cool. <laughs> like it was just really technical stuff, you know. Uh uh, it was a band called Region of Terror. Okay. So, yeah, just those two and then this one. Those were the only two sh- bands that actually played shows and recorded. Oh, nice. Okay. And then, so that that's not the, really that many. No. But that's, I mean, you've, uh, you said that you're a sound engineer also. I mean, did you record with those bands also? I mean, were you the one recording those bands or? No, I wasn't, I wasn't into it at the time. When did you start doing the whole? Because you you actually mixed and mastered the uh, the Ice Bag album, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, and recorded it. Yeah, and recorded it. Yeah, mm-hmm. exactly. Uh, when when did you start doing all that? When did that? How did that uh, come about? Uh, right after high school, I got a. Um, I was interested in it. Um, my brother actually got me into it, just like uh, with Audacity. Um, oh hey, <clears throat> yeah, but I used the <laughs> Rock Band mic. <laughs> So <laughs> whatever works, it, dude. Yeah. yeah, it worked, man, for a little bit. Yeah, um, and then I bit. I eventually got Pro Tools. For, I think it was for my birthday. Pro Tools with a it little interface, a little M box or something like that. And uh, ever since then, I I went to school for it. I went to Citrus College through the recording program. Oh great, no shit! Great program. Great program. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, it, it extensive, very extensive. You get to sit in the multi-million dollar studios mm-hmm. i mean a lot of recording artists record out of that studio oh yeah also. like glenn yeah. stefani has recorded mm-hmm. there like glenn a bunch stefani. of yeah did i say glenn you said glenn <laughs> stefani <laughs> gg <laughs> oh man that's so good i'm gonna start calling it oh, glenn stefani yeah when sorry gwen if you hear this I believe she's not listening. Yeah, <laughs> yeah she's yeah. not. She's got better things got, to do. Yeah, exactly. She's <laughs> she's got Joe Rogan to listen to. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, but yeah, Gwen, I know Gwen Stefani's recorded out of there. Didn't uh um I don't want to say John maybe it was John Legend Legend recorded a track out of there, I think, too. I don't know. Just one track though. Like I know it wasn't anything big, but Maybe I don't know. My my cousin he goes to fucking Citrus College and he knows all, all every hey, Daniel that fucking wrote out of there. No Christian, the one uh, Chin's the one that lives here. Yeah. <clears throat> um, I mean obviously it paid off well because the album sounds great. You did a fucking awesome job and you actually made your own mix into the album also, didn't you? Yes. Uh, where did did you already have that or did, or did you just make it up on the spot? Like, huh? There should be something fucking cool right here. It was all on the spot. All Just on the spot. spot. All, all, all on the spot. The entire Natural album, talent, man. Yeah. The entire man. album, except for one song, is on the spot. Really? So all of those you just fucking re- you wrote and basically recorded? The like, only like, song that's not on the spot is Unmatched Aggression, because I was sitting on that for like two years already. 
but yeah, we recorded that. Track. We recorded that together, like in 2015. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So we already had that song. It's actually on my really? SoundCloud without yeah. vocals. Yeah, there's oh, just shit. a couple slight differences. Sad part is it actually kind of sounds better than the, <laughs> <laughs> the, the yeah. recording that we, we recorded. Have. <laughs> See that now that just means you got to go back and do it again, dude. Just yeah, I know. Can't wait for keep coming too. out. I know, dude. Uh, when when do you uh, think well, that'll be out? Because I know you're obviously in the works of it right now. Uh, what? The the second album. Oh yeah. Uh, I wouldn't give a. Rele- <laughs> I wouldn't say any release date. There's a <clears throat> possibility end of the year, but maybe like early exclusive. Next year. All right. This time yeah. around next year. So if, uh, if you ever want to, yeah, if you ever want a uh, little sneak peek, you can know you know where to play it now. Oh yeah. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh yeah. Oh yeah. We we got the hook. We got the hookups. So. I know exactly. Right. <laughs> okay. We already have what like six songs recorded. Yeah. There without go. vocals. Yeah. We got- no, they're just they're they're just riffs, you know. They're not yeah. songs yet. Uh, well, yeah, <laughs> something like that. They're like something like song, that. Yeah. <laughs> and um, so obviously, you guys started playing shows. Wait, did you even record? Did you play a show before you recorded? No. Ice Bag has, but not this lineup. But not this lineup. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean. Because any time yeah. that I played, people would be like, oh, Ice Bag's playing. It's Ice Bag. So it's just like, all right, whatever. But those don't count. None of those shows count. The, but like, like legit, full, the, your lineup now. Uh, you do, you guys actually didn't play shows before you put that album out. No. no. Oh no. man, that's fucking awesome. That's that's amazing. That you we actually really started practicing like the week we had our first show. <laughs> <laughs> True. <laughs> Albums out for like two months already, and we hadn't even fucking oh, like man. you know practice. You haven't even yet. practiced as a full set. Yet. <laughs> yeah, it was hard to get a hold of Michael. Yeah, yeah. Michael, uh, Michael was down and out, going through some stuff, life. You know. Yeah, that happens, man. Just moving and stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so. We, could, we had to take some time off, but eh, it came back and we're back in it. And now it's happening, dude. It's fucking rolling. So you guys didn't play a show before you put the album out, but obviously it's paid off for you because you're getting shows now. You're getting, I mean, yeah. you've already played how many? How, like three? Like four. Four? Three? Yeah. Four? That was number four. That just happened. Yeah. Yeah. And tomorrow <clears> we're playing <throat> really? one, too. You got to play one. Wasn't that number three? I don't know. Some some fucking number. Uh, the I first one was uh, the Backyard Gig in Almani, though, right? No, that was no. number two. That was two? Okay. The first one we played was in Pomona. Oh, yeah, that's right. The first one you did play was in Pomona. <clears throat> how how was that one? How was that? That was your first gig, man. Like, that it, one was, was that, tight. Really? How, like, how, was yeah. the, how do you think the, the set was and everything? How do you think everybody... Uh, that was clean. It yeah. sounded good. It was in a backyard, obviously, so obviously it sounds like not the best, but I mm-hmm. mean, fuck it, like DIY, you know? There was a lot of people there. There was a lot of people there, actually. Really? So, yeah. There you go, already kicking it and hitting it in the Pomona scene over there. Yeah, I know, yeah. Because actually, the, the show tomorrow is at Pomona, is in yeah, Pomona, isn't yeah, it? Tomorrow, yeah, tomorrow we hit Pomona again, so hopefully Pomona brings the ignorance again. <laughs> <Shit>. <laughs> this time inside mm-hmm. and not raining. <laughs> it was raining the last time? Yeah, we, oh, we played yeah. like sprinkling. Yeah. <laughs> That's fucking awesome. Well, um, we actually do have some more ice bag for you guys. As you recall, I did play it before on a previous episode when Vincent was here. Uh, we're actually going to play that same song again, but just so that you guys can get an idea of what this album sounds like right off the bat, I'm going to play the intro and the uh, second track, which is Intro Injury, which is kind of throwing me off. Why didn't you just call the intro Ice Bag and the yeah, second song I wanted injury? to do that, but there was already too much Ice Bag going on with Ice Bag. There's too many Ice yeah, Bags yeah, and fucking yeah. Ice Bag. <laughs> oh, Cause cause it makes sense, right? <laughs> to call that Ice it's Bag. A, yeah, yeah. In, intro Injury. I mean... I guess that sounds cool also, but uh, uh, we'll let you guys listen to it. uh, So we'll be right back.
Oh, that last part wasn't supposed to be in there. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I was checking the feed and it was fr- it was frozen. So I was like, oh shit, I don't, don't know what's happening. But a bunch of thumbs just flew through the door or the <laughs> the. <laughs> See, look at these there's all these hearts and shit flying through i don't know what that is <clears throat> but anyway Stop we're back with uh, i know we're fans. back with uh, <laughs> with ice bag right now so uh thank you again for showing us your love and everything um like i said my feed is frozen so i don't know if it's even still recording but if it is thank you guys for uh, watching what's up cj cute <laughs> So uh, we were talking about past shows that you did. You we did went over the first one, which was in Pomona. You said they brought the fucking noise over there. What was uh, what? Do, what do you think it was? Just the the energy? Yeah, just the local kids, dude. Because that was like a real local show. Like they had like Barrio Slam, which played, which actually was a band that was called Why We Fight, like ten mm. years ago ish. Which was a band that I got to play with when I was in a band called Breakthrough back then. And, like, kids were always just fucking... <laughs> yeah, remember that? Shit. Yeah, remember that shit? So it was just... It wasn't like a reunion oh or anything. Oh, my God. It wasn't like a reunion, but they definitely remembered, like, that shit. So I was just like, yeah, like, that shit was fun. But, uh, yeah, just the local kids, dude. The fucking local kids, like, showed that up in Pomona so that That is so fucking night, so. crazy, dude. I haven't heard that name in so long. Yeah, we're going to keep that name buried. <laughs> we're not going to bring that up out of the grave. Yeah, anymore. I mean, dude, I, actually, I'm going to bring it up now i'm gonna i'm pretty sure i have no. somewhere <laughs> dig it up what no Break breakthrough dude, no. No. Yeah, that dude. Shit's... i'm pretty sure i could find it no. it's probably still on myspace <laughs> <laughs> it's probably it has to be up on myspace oh though my God, that is so true. Fuck oh, that that's fucking awesome that you still play with those people though that you know and that are, are from that time man because yeah. you know that you the, this is the, good. They're still playing. I was yeah. like, fucking, hardcore doesn't die, dude. Like, fucking. Exactly. As long as I'm alive, hardcore's <clears throat> alive. So, fucking. And you're, you're talking about the scene, too. The scene out there is fucking strong, dude. Yeah, usually Pomona Pomona shows are usually pretty good, no matter where they're at. Like, this mm-hmm. one was at a backyard, not a venue, which obviously everybody knows, like, Glass House, PBW, fucking. Pomona has a Roxy, right? They have, like, their own Roxy, Roxy theater. Yeah. And then, what else? They have a couple of, like, other bars that are all around the area. That have shows Isn't too. Isn't Aladdin one of Aladdin Junior? Aladdin Junior's like PBW that? now. Yeah, yeah so it. PBW is that what it is? Pizza Beer Wings, ah. whatever entertainment like Pirate Entertainment or somebody bought it out. And fucking sounds it. a lot cooler than Aladdin Junior. That's yeah. for sure. Well, uh, that was the name of the restaurant before. That's why it was a hookah mm-hmm. lounge. Slash oh, yeah, restaurant. Slash yeah, restaurant. Yeah, that's right. That's what it why. was. Totally so yeah, forgot about that. But yeah, uh, yeah. Pomona always brings it. Like no matter what show you go to, mm-hmm. there usually always be, be people there. Like I've seen like some crazy bands in Pomona like from the East Coast. Did anybody fucking... bring ice bags to that show? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Thank God. I told Jeff don't. I told Jeff do not bring ice bags to this show. Oh, I was God. like, that stays in El Monte. Like fucking, that stays in El Monte. Well, all yeah. right, yeah, I like that. I like because that shit was so fucking. If awesome. we ever end up playing a fest or anything like that, like I'm gonna invite everybody. Everybody's gonna throw ice bags to exactly. people. Fuck yeah, dude. Yeah, that shit was great, dude. Seeing shit that was... shit, <laughs> really? seeing that shit go down while you were playing, hell yeah, dude. I. I I wasn't expecting it. I had no idea that they were going to do that. Dude, oh, yeah, I didn't fuck. either. I saw like five different camera angles. I was just like, holy it, shit. Dude, it, it looked, just with my own eyeballs, it was fucking amazing. <laughs> <laughs> it was the, the greatest thing I have ever seen. It was the most awesome, badass, hardcore shit Yeah, people were ever. Fucking, yeah, people were just throwing that shit back. Fucking ice bags, dude. There were people hitting the other people <laughs> in the head yeah, dude, fucking Jeff, ice bags. Jeff like ran up to me and swung it at me. And I was like, oh, shit. Uh, I like, nope, <laughs> you yep. can see that on a video. Not today, Satan. Yeah, not, yep. <laughs> not today, Not Satan. today, Satan. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, and then, yeah, at the, at the very end, you see Jesse with two of them. <laughs> trying to spin with both of them. Spinning with them and shit. Yeah, that shit was great. Oh, Jeff man. actually throws one up in the air right when, yeah, you, right like, when you say ice bag. Yeah, he fucking, yep. yeah, he, he throws it right. It's up. fucking, it's beautiful, dude. It was it's like a piece yeah, of art, fucking, dude. Yeah, it's fucking hilarious. <laughs> yeah. And Nikki, like, filmed, like, the whole thing. So it was like. Amanda has actually a pretty good shot, too, from the back. So you see, yeah, you see you guys playing and then you just see jeff right in front of you just wow, fucking launch Chuck a big ass ice bag in the air dude he yeah he fucking chucks it like it goes off camera for like a cool yeah, second yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> doesn't it land show. on the roof no no it, it like comes back it, down? yeah it almost hits somebody oh, but shit. like <laughs> no, anthony it hits like anthony like falls out there yeah. Or shit. Yeah. <laughs> that shit's hilarious dude that thing that video had a lot of fucking views dude like we posted that thing had like over a thousand views and we're like fuck yeah, yeah. N- nothing like an ice bag yeah. show yeah. man and, and nobody nobody's <laughs> fucking booking us after that they're like oh fuck this band <laughs> they're gonna fucking bring ice bags into this <clears throat> holy shit fuck gonna no, be dude. a lawsuit on their hands with that yeah. <laughs> dude, ice, I, with dude. ice comes water and with uh, water comes slippage yeah, 
Dude, not only is it slipping a hazard, but what if you actually nail somebody like right in the fucking head with an ice bag? That's the dude? whole point of ice, ice bag, bag in- injury. <laughs> <laughs> that's like, that. I, that's yeah. ice bag death, though. Like, yeah, that was like the, the com- full fucking the, yeah. That wow. was like the comedy parts of our name. It was like imagine getting I, yeah, it's imagine like a stupid ass <laughs> name, but imagine getting fucking hit in the face with somebody swinging an ice bag. You like you're gonna have no fucking face. It's gonna be fucking caved in. You're, you're dead. <laughs> like you're dead. You're fucking Done. dead. Oh man, I love it. <clears throat> that was actually your second show. What we were yeah, just talking about. Fun. Yeah, that was at Sweat's uh, house for his birthday. That was fucking tight. He, didn't you punch a hole in his wall? No, <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who did, but that wasn't me. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Those are fucking rumors I haven't heard about. <laughs> yeah, I, I I don't know. It didn't look like it from my view. Yeah, it didn't look like it for mine either. <laughs> <laughs> Watch the video, you'd be afraid. <laughs> it didn't look like it from my view. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh shit. <laughs> so third show. How would the, how did that one pan out compared to this? Because now it just seems like you're, they're just getting better and better at this point. Yeah, we played in a bar. Uh, the day after St. Patty's Day. It was a great fucking stage, though. Really? It was, yeah, it had a great sound system. It was all, everything was mic'd Where up. What was it at? Oh, Lug- that was the Laguna Nagel one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. At Carmen's Bar. <laughs> Actually, Carmen's Bar might be fucking far as fuck from us. It's fucking legit, dude. It's, it's a great like, spot. It's DIY, like fucking, this dude owns like the bar and like set up like for all punk bands and fucking djs to like have a place like it's legit like it's nice. one of the few places where you could probably be a punk band and still go play like unfortunately <laughs> Un- I'm sorry, unfortunately but yeah they have like they totally have like the old school ethic there and i fucking yeah. love that from them and he, so like, if the, you're in a punk band i mean yeah, yeah. Like, everybody the, that works there they're like in the scene like they're all like tatted up plugs yeah. fucking been listening to punk since fucking they came out of the wound and shit you know what i mean it's like fucking, fucking awesome so they were like legit and they're also Love really those helpful places. those places are always like the friendliest too like, yeah they were yeah. great people yeah, they're, they're awesome yeah, yeah they were great people yeah fucking love it yeah unfortunately totally worth the drive and, but it, it, yeah. it is plus an we made a lot hour and a half fr- plus we made a lot of good friends there so that's cool with people so. do you plan on uh, going but playing back there soon uh if the fucking if we get booked there you, you get in invited there. yeah did you talk to any bookers while you were there? I mean, uh, how, how no. was it? Was actually, it like a hot spot where no, like did no, no. people show actually, up and our, like? No, our our friend, our friends from Burn Infinite actually booked us on that because they needed an extra band, and we we're just like, yeah, we'll play. They actually booked these next two shows for us. So I've been friends with their vocalist for like oh, almost yeah. ten years. He he was booking fucking breakthrough back. You got then, yeah, so. you got to you got to make the connections now, man, or one of you at least. Yeah, that's that's people, more huh? of me. I have <laughs> I I know more people that like do shit like that just from yeah. like my time. You gotta start talking to the producers, man. Getting you booked more more on bigger shows, at least better spots. We too. Like, I basically right now like I'm doing like the booking for us. So mm-hmm. like, and it's just more like DIY because I don't really, like fuck going through promoters and shit like that. But yeah, they always like. Has anyone seen, like, approached you yet either? Like, yeah. Oh, yeah, pe- yeah, we've had people. Yeah. All the time, but we. But it's always, always like a yeah. It's always like we yeah. Don't want you, that. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck. Fuck. Presale. I don't. Like, I don't like to pay to play. I just want to. Yeah. I just want to fucking play. <laughs> exactly. I don't the care only if it's time in a fucking shack. I don't care if it's dude. In a the only time I backyard, would do presale whatever. is if that shit was like with some badass band. It was like ten tickets. Like a you know? yeah, like a you festival. Just give your friends. Or, yeah. Like because honestly, dude, like presale is like pretty pretty much bullshit. Like mm-hmm. it's it's bullshit. Like if you're gonna have bands do presale, like book better bands. Like fuck, <laughs> you know, like book somebody who's gonna bring people because fucking local bands are just trying to fucking are barely even getting by. So yeah, they're exactly. Fucking, they're just doing what they yeah, love, so man. Stop, yeah, so stop trying to drain them of all their fucking mm-hmm. money from working their shitty ass. You job. fucking vampires! Yeah. Stop stop stealing our money. <clears throat> pretty much, yeah. man. I've been through that before yeah. with Region of Terror. What happened with that? Just a lot of bullshit. Of yeah, well, I've, already, I've already been through all that shit. Too. Yeah, just pre-sale, man. You'd have to sell fifty tickets, man. Yeah, I mean, there's well, no way you can come up with that money. And then for yeah. those of you who don't, don't understand what <laughs> what pre-sale is, you there's people out there who tell you you have to sell a certain amount of tickets in order to play the show, exactly. or yeah, and like it's all it, it sucks, man. Yeah. And then pretty the soon, like always you're bringing far. money out of your yeah, you're bringing money out of your pocket just so you could fucking play yeah, a, exactly. A, you know, a six song set, and it's like not even worth it. Yep. 
so you're avoiding mm-hmm. that, ob- obviously. Yeah, yeah you're yeah. looking a for cool layback people. There's who, only a few places like that now that are still in hardcore, which I totally don't agree with. But I mean, it is what it is. So mm-hmm. hopefully, I mean, hopefully that shit goes away. But I mean, venues got to make their money, obviously. So, but in my opinion, it's like, well, don't fucking try to don't book, hand, yeah, don't yeah, have people. Yeah, yeah, don't book a DJ, motherfucker. Exactly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah book somebody else. Yeah. <clears throat> so that, that was uh, show laptop. three, four. Did you? You said you played a fourth show. That's tomorrow. Tomorrow is your fourth Tomorrow's show. That's right. Fourth, yeah. But uh, where's that at? That's in Pomona. PBW. PBW. That's at PBW. Junior. There it's, you go. Uh, it's basically like Buffalo Wild Wings, and then like another room that goes into a venue. So it's yeah, it's like fine. a little hall mm-hmm. with the stage. It's a little DIY. It's cool. Spot. Yeah, it's yeah. a cool little spot. My brother's band played there once. Well, Latter- when it was Aladdin Junior, it's a cool little. Yeah. Cool it hasn't changed. Home. Yeah. yeah, it's still it's still the same small ass room and fucking. Mm. And yeah. who else are you playing with that show? Uh, basically the same lineup as last time. I'm playing with like Burn Infinite, Bad Taste, mm. uh, Born Guilty, Drag and uh, Me Drag Me Under. Yeah, and you you guys pretty much play with the same bands, you know, almost on at least one other you know band that you've already played with on every every yeah. show so far. Yeah, basically, we play with Same Sun for a few shows in a row because those are well, the so first I mean, two. Yeah. So yeah. it's a pretty tight scene then too, which you yeah. guys got. You know where, where you guys at? Yeah, I wouldn't say tight. There's a lot of personality in the scene nowadays. So <laughs> <laughs> personality, like <laughs> you're either like friends with people or you're not, and that will like determine like where you get to go and where you get to do. So it's pretty bullshit, but fucking new kids, right? So. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, ex- explain it then. Like, uh, what is the what is the difference between what the scene was back then compared to p- compared to now? See, I don't know, because now that I think about it, I don't know if the scene was different back then. It's all it, just like anything else. It's always like who people you are know. sensitive ass fucking pussies now. Yeah, That's people what's are fuck fucking <laughs> sensitive, dude. Like hardcore Twitter is fucking AIDS. If you ever what? like anybody that's hardcore and listens to this shit, like get the, what fuck, the fuck. Yeah, you're like I'm gonna start calling people out. Like when I see them at shows, like get the fuck off Twitter, like. What, like people talk shit on Twitter? Yeah, dude. Oh, dude, oh, dude. that's their it's fucking the outlet. It's, it's really? not even just hardcore Twitter. It's not even just Twitter. It's <laughs> fucking 2016, 2017 fucking I'm a victim of everything fucking, and I have the internet at my disposal. Like fucking just fucking shit out the mouth, dude. Like fucking just people just run their mouths. Like you can say whatever the fuck you want on the internet because fucking no one can do mm. anything to you. So it's like, it doesn't matter, you know? It's not like you can get your feelings fucking hurt, but which everybody fucking does, so... Wait. So how did what? Wait. How did that come about? About talking about booking shows? Well, because hardcore is like probably the most sensitive fucking people. Like all the fucking <laughs> new kids that are in, like bitch about fucking everything. everything. Fucking everything. Band can't say faggot. Band can't fucking faggot have fucking, oh, wow, fucking say. Dude. Band can't have like. It's hate, like one of my favorite like, words in their, in their lyrics. Like you can't. Like people get mad when you get fucking crowd bashed, which is like when people like chin check people like at shows yeah. and stuff. I'm just like, dude. That shit's been in hardcore since like before. Wait, that's happening in hardcore now, dude. That's oh, been, dude. That's it's, just it's all, calmed down. Yeah, really, yeah. dude. Watch Black Flag. Black Flag. Black. <laughs> watch Black Flag. Yeah, <laughs> watch Black Flag shows, dude. Like, watch Black uh, Flag. Watch fucking anybody. Yeah. Bad Brains, suicidal tendencies yeah. back in the day. People mm-hmm. are beating the shit out of everybody. Yeah. The whole pit. That it's just everybody's punching everybody. That's like, just how I know. It like was. I know. Like when we were growing up, like early kids, like like crowd killing and like punching people, yeah. like. Nobody cared, dude. Yeah. Like, that's fucking hardcore. Like, like there's you're a in reason. the pit, dude. I'm sorry. Yeah, <laughs> like, hardcore. Like, obviously, everybody's, like, hardcore dancing and throwing down and shit like that. And, like, it's different from metal and punk. But it's just, like, that comes with it. Like, people are swinging their arms for a fucking reason. And that's yeah. to hit you and get their aggression <laughs> yeah. out. Like, you know? So it's, like, it's not fucking crying. Like, there was this dude on fucking Facebook for this band. <laughs> Should I tell the later ref story? <laughs> yeah, please, please. So there's this band called Later Rest, right? Fucking beat down band from Connecticut, like where hate breeds from. It's a good like song. all this band. Yeah. 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 Good song from Lamar. It's a good song. Yeah. <laughs> good fucking band, too. They're fucking hard. Anyways, in one of their songs, they're they're um they say like uh fuck all you other hood faggots. Like we're fucking coming for you, like some shit like that. And then uh this dude was like, Oh, like this band's playing with a... A band called Code, or- Code Orange, who has like a girl singer uh-huh. and a, go- a girl vocalist, and like you know, like a lot of like girls go to that show, and, like other people lesbians, that, yeah, people not lesbians, but people that were like just like generally new. And uh-huh. this guy's like, oh, there could literally be like target, like targeting against girls at shows and blah blah what? blah. And, shit. Oh and it's just God. like, dude, like 
I'm America's later ass made like a whole made, made a shirt out of his like Facebook post and shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yeah, it was great. free publicity, dude. And it was like yeah. it was like, and this is a band that says, uh, "I'll show you what real pain is, bitch," and calls people nigga all on one demo. <laughs> 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 like, <laughs> and then they got called a bunch of like skinhead oh, racist shit. Nazis and shit like that. And it was like the dude that said nigga was like black anyways, and people were just like, "Oh, oh my god." My god. Like, yeah, people bitch about fucking everything. Like, it's fucking nuts. parkour is not for the fucking weak. It's it not. not. It's for the aggressive, violent people who don't fucking mm-hmm. fit in. Like, it's not for fucking 2016, 2017, like eighteen year olds. Like, you know, it's not for them. There was it's also terrible. a chick that uh, sued. Did she sue the venue? That was the same show that guy was talking about. Oh yeah, she. So this chick got got spin kicked from like a dude that was wearing, I guess, Vans. <laughs> but everybody thought that they were like steel toe boots, or that's what she said because it broke oh her jaw. My God. She broke her jaw, and uh, she was like trying to. She made a GoFundMe because that's what everybody fucking does now when they need money. GoFundMe, I had problems. Go yeah, hey, I'm me. making a GoFundMe. Right. Fuck you. I know. I'm gonna support you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you don't. Yeah, but you, you have don't. a cause. You're yeah, doing. You something. have a cause though. You're, yeah. you're not like yo, give me free money. Like it's just like so. She raised like. I don't know how much money it was, but it was, it was like more. Grand, yeah, it dude. was way more than what she oh needed God. for the medical bills, which yeah. was like 10K or something. She made like three times that much or some shit like that. Yeah. Anyways, then after that, she was like, oh, uh, I'm going to sue this guy. Like, who fucking knows who he is? Blah, blah, blah. Like, all this shit. And then, like, people Holy were just shit. making memes. Like, you know that meme that has, like, the hand, like, slapping the, the blue fucking button and shit? Oh, yeah. It was like, oh, a hardcore scene helps <laughs> out. Uh, uh, sue the guy anyways. I know. <laughs> like, the button had, like, sue. sue. Yeah. <laughs> and it was just like, dude, uh, this is, like, fucking so bullshit. Because I've been fucking, I've been fucking, personally, I've been beat up and jumped by, like, Nazis at fucking. That shows, dude. Uh, yeah. At a uh, fuck, not mayhem. Well, no, mayhem. Yeah, yeah mayhem. mayhem at Mayhem Fest. And uh, no, 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 it was your Mayhem or Oz Fest. I don't remember. But uh, dur- both. Yeah, both. <laughs> it was during Exodus. I remember that shit. Uh, and, uh, that was Mayhem. Yeah, I've been beat up by like FSU members of shows, like Chin Check from like kids. Like, I don't fucking cry on the internet. Yo, give me money. I have a broken yeah. nose or I'm missing a tooth now. Like, fuck that shit. Like, where's my money at? Like, no, because I fucking keep quiet, and I know that's what I'm getting into when I go. Yeah, to the when shit. you go into the pit. Yeah, yeah. dude. Yeah. Exactly. Obviously, if you got spin kicked, you were either in the front or fucking standing <laughs> in the way. Like <laughs> you were where you should not yeah. have been at yeah, all. If you're gonna fucking bitch, sit in the fucking back or just yeah. don't. Yeah, there's a yeah. fucking show exactly. at all. Just now, don't go. Yeah, there's a there's <laughs> we a don't docu- want you. Yeah, there's a documentary called Boston Beatdown, and one of the dudes from like, that's about like the FS, FSU crew and shit from the East Coast, and one of the dudes says. Like, quote unquote, like paraphrase, like, uh, you know, like at a hardcore show, like, I know, like, when there's certain people on the floor, like, I jump back because I don't want to get hit. And if you're on the floor and you don't want to get hit and you get hit and you, and you can't take it and you want to cry about it, like, you're a bitch. Don't go to the show. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it's just like, that's the fucking perfect example. So don't go to the fucking show if you don't want to get hit, especially when there's like a beat down band playing because chances are yeah. somebody's going to come over and you're going to get hit either way. Yeah. Like, yep. I mean, I don't yep. go, I don't go to beat down shows to, to beat down or I mean, I don't even go to beat down shows. Yeah. I just, I go to a show to watch and even if I was at one, you know, yeah, I would stand and, it's the same thing I would stand show, and watch dude. too. Like, I, 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 if I wanted to, I would just stand and watch. And if I got hit, I'm yeah. not going to fucking cry it's about the same it. Thing like, for any right. show because I just saw a fucking anger face yeah. not too long ago. There's people pitting. At every punk show I go to, people fucking pit. Like, if you want to get hit, like, get the fuck away. Especially yeah. away from hardcore kids, because they will specifically target you. I know. You. Like, but it's it's fun to be close to the pit, and then, because, you know, if you want to go in, it's right there. And then if somebody comes and hits you, it's like, all right, cool. You can't take it. <laughs> you don't want to cry about it. <laughs> yeah. You're a bitch. Don't go to the show. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. That's pretty much it. So, yeah, I don't know. Our, our air, like ethics are i guess mm-hmm. different because there's a bunch of new kids coming in and i feel like there's definitely a like displacement between like the scene i grew up with and what it is now like sometimes i feel like i'm outcasted i'm like fuck i don't i like you know like just, just like there's too many fucking new kids man They're yeah just, like yeah. trends like they just like fucking came out of nowhere come out of nowhere you know for, ever since basically like 2012 i'd say it was like a new era of like kids <clears throat> and you know, like they have like their own trends, their own shit. And like, I don't follow any of that shit, dude. Like, so like yeah. for one, taking fucking selfies in the bathroom, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> with their fucking foot up on the what? fucking <laughs> sink. I don't understand it. <laughs> that shit, I don't get it. What the fuck's up with that? Oh, I got him. <laughs> oh, I got. Him. <laughs> I was trying to fight that all fucking night. <laughs> <laughs> Just let it out. Uh. 
<laughs> That's horrible. Yeah, this stupid shit like that. You know, it's like, like stuff what the like fuck are you doing? Squatting in front of your fucking mirror, like taking a picture, throwing up you know, peace sign. Uh, or, yeah, what it's they call like it? deuces. And it also comes because you know, like hardcore and like the underground, you know, has its own like style, like dressing and stuff like that. And like kids take this shit way too serious. You know, our fucking name's Ice Bag Injury, dude. Like that's like not <laughs> serious at all. Like we have like dude, us, that's such a fucking we, badass right, name, though. Like, God clip, damn it, we have, we have like clips of us just like eh, like in the songs. You know what I mean? Like and that was like another thing with this band. It's just like kids take hardcore way too serious. Like it could be like collecting merch. Like who's got the best? Oh my god, merch swap. Merch swap fucking ruined hardcore, that's for sure. A fucking Vice said that shit, and Andrew Vicante, like in New York, dude. Like you're fucking right. Fucking. Which what is merch it? swap is basically this Facebook group. There's like a couple of them where you post up like your merch that you bought from like a band's like show or whatever or merch that you have, and people will like buy it and trade it. So it's like its own little community of people like in the hardcore scene like trading. Kind of like comic merch. books. Yeah, comic books, eBay, you know, all that same shit. But the thing is, like, when you go to a show and you buy a shirt and then you just come home and flip it for merch swap, it's like, well, fucking, like, did you when do a disservice? You- like. <laughs> Yeah, it's not so really you buy a shirt for ten. I didn't, I didn't really think about that. Yeah, you know, like you buy a shirt right for 10, 15 like, oh, bucks, shit. and you sell it, you know, for like thirty or forty, because like, oh, like you know, the shirt's sold out. You can't get this shirt anywhere. I need this. I need this. So in some perspective, I understand because some people are selling shit that's like super wow. rare, but like people are hmm. selling like basically like you know like shirts like 160, 150 bucks, that's sixty bucks, nuts. Yeah, so it's just like I don't know, man. I'm not really into that shit. Merch I've been fucking. Swap. I've even gone on it, dude. Like, I've been guilty, like, fucking buying yeah. shit. And, like, and you'll, you'll find yeah, but out. you're the idiot, though, because yeah. you could have just gone to the band and got something that's once in a lifetime. There's, and- only, there's <laughs> only one fucking band I collect from, and that's Creatures, which, unfortunately, doesn't fucking exist anymore. But, okay. uh, yeah, I've been, like, ripped off, like, where people, like, fucking don't send you shit or just take your money, make fake profiles. Dude, there's, like, so much of that shit going oh, on. man. Like, hardcore kids ripping off other hardcore kids. And it's just, that's like, horrible. Yeah, unfortunately. You got to know what you're doing on that shit, because... People will fucking try to take advantage of you to the fucking fullest. So you gotta be like, take you can a buy a sixty dollars shirt. You can buy a sixty dollars shirt, and they won't even pay for the fucking three dollars shipping. Like, they'll make you pay for it. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> like, like, well, like you're already being a shitty. Like, come on, <laughs> shitty. Yeah, that's yeah, a, definitely that's online. Good word too. Online, Facebook, Twitter, fucking whatever. Tumblr, hardcore is way different than going to shows. Because when you go to shows, Fuck like Tumblr, kids. ain't nobody fucking backing you up behind your fucking keyboard. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? So fucking, it's where it gets real, motherfucker. Yeah, which is funny because like you only see those kids at shows every like six months or just for the fest. They never go to like the local shows. They're never there supporting like the local bands, shit like that. So mm-hmm. it is what it is. They're only there whatever. for turnstile. Yeah, the only never, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it's Code Orange. Yeah, it turns out it's a good band. And Coral is a good band. <laughs> Sorry, Steven. There's definitely, yeah, there's de- Steven Sorry, Miranda. Yeah. Our, our fucking guitarist is guilty of being a new kid, but yeah. <laughs> he is quite, he, he looked pretty young, dude. Yeah, well, we've been fucking going to shows for like 10 plus years now, so we fucking seen it all in our time, at least for our age. So, yeah. And then all the OGs have seen like fucking shit, like, you know, way worse than us. So, because nowadays people aren't getting fucking beat up at fucking venues after, you know, so-and-so's band plays, you know what I mean? Like how it used to be in shit. <laughs> like where you have to roll with like five or six people to shows because you don't know like what the fuck's going to happen. Yeah. You know what I mean? So a yeah. lot of that shit's come down, which it's I don't think so people are, I don't think people understand because a lot of people think like hardcore is all like, oh, it's this happy place and it's safe to go and shit like that. And I'm like, mm. I'm like, go watch any New York hardcore uh, yeah. band, Mad Ball. Pick and choose fucking, your battle, lady. Yeah, Irate, Sworn Enemy. Like, I mean, just listen to those fucking names, dude. Like, they're all like angry. Like, just go watch like All Out War. Like, just go listen to any of that shit and tell me like they, this is a fucking safe place. <laughs> let's go, let's go listen to Slang Fetus. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of slang fetus and dying fetus, I got uh, unlimited Spotify on a side note, by the way. Oh. By unlimited Spotify, I mean because I changed over. CJ. I, I know. I, right? I changed over. I changed over from Verizon to Verizon Unlimited today. So. Oh, my God. Best he's so best stoked one. on I'm that. So yeah. stoked, Every so. time he's driving. Oh, since I have a Spotify Unlimited now. Oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> I can listen You're to whatever fucking the fuck, I want. The fuck you want, huh? <laughs> Hey, it's fucking you great. You know, Spotify doesn't even take up that much memory, dude. Oh, when you're fucking me, it does. And you have like 300 <laughs> bands that are all fucking synced. Shit. It does take up a lot of men- memory, dude. It does, so, dude. yeah, because yeah, I have my shit like sets a high, so I get like all the. I, well, I don't, I don't, uh, I don't. Well, I don't download any of my stuff. I just leave it on the the radio. Nice. Yeah, yeah, the radio kind, and then yeah. don't use any of my data. That's another thing too. Is like Spotify is a great spot for hardcore bands. I think, in my opinion, because you always have mm-hmm. like related artists. Because before, like back in the day, and this goes pretty much for like most metal punk genres and shit like that, like hardcore. Mm-hmm. 
is like you'd buy a cassette or a CD, like you know, early late eighties or nineties. It was always like, a hand to mouth. Yeah, it was always like yeah, it was always like look on the flyer, like who were they playing with? I'm gonna check mm-hmm. out those bands, yeah. or look in their fucking thank you section. Like All Out War would have like you know thank you like fucking I don't know other bands, whatever like, fucking yeah. band, Agnostic Front, you know, mm-hmm. like something like that. You know what I mean? Or Agnostic Front would have like thank you Mad mm-hmm. Ball, thank you fucking. Scarhead, thank you for you, ha- you would have to basically Pro-max. do your fine reading on, on yeah. finding other bands. Really? But it was a way different like scene back then because that's how like word of mouth like you know fucking was like a thing. Now we have the internet, but people are fucking lazy on the internet because you could post a flyer and like maybe only like five of your friends see it and none of them repost it. So it's like, well, who really saw the flyer? It was like yeah, just you. Exactly. You know what I mean? Motherfuckers. But before, Better share sh- sh- share your shit, man. Yeah, and like that's <laughs> another thing too about like flyers is like SoCal is so fucking like spoiled i guess would be the word there's like shows happening there's like fucking four shows this week like this weekend's tough love fest which is like we're all local beatdown bands get to go play and you get to chin check everybody and they get stabbed after the show yeah (laughs) and then there's also like crow mags are playing this week you know like fucking we're playing uh it's like a bunch of sh- like Cro- yeah, Crow Mags are fucking playing like fucking from New York and shit, like legendary band. Like they're playing like Long Beach and Union and shit like that. Shit. And then um, like next week there's like shows happening. Like one of our buddies' bands are coming up from like San Diego in a few weeks. So it's like there's always fucking shows happening. Sound and Fury is fucking huge this year. So well, it was huge last year because it came back. Mm-hmm. I don't mm-hmm. know if you want to touch on Sound and Fury. You have more experience than I do. What is Sound and Fury? Yeah, we went once. When two thousand eight. I don't know what year, dude. No, cre- not 2008. It was one of the years of Creatures. Who puts on though. Sound and Fury? Sound and Fury, oh, now. Well, it was the same guys before. Before, it's it's the fucking... It's Riley and Martin, I think their names are. Yeah, one of them's the guitarist, lead guitarist for uh, Terror, a band called Terror. Yeah. Which was, you saw Terror. Dude. Yeah, it was a big uh, Samoan, uh, like Hawaiian-looking dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah that mm-hmm. dude. Uh, a big motherfucker. Yeah, Riley. And then uh, it used to be, I think, the singer from... Uh, Nails, his name's Todd Jones. Uh, I don't think he's like in that doing that anymore or some shit. Anyways, but they're they're <clears> fucking <throat> setting up Sound Fury. They brought it back, so basically Sound Fury is like SoCal's biggest hardcore fest, oh, nice. which happens every year in the month of June, like June tenth, eleventh, or whatever is when they try to set it. And uh, like, I mean, fucking everybody gets to play. East Coast bands, fucking this year, Loyal to the Graves playing. They're from Japan. You know, fucking people from Australia, fucking all over the country and like other parts of the world. Like it just brings in all the hardcore scene, everybody together. And it's just one big fest that everybody goes to. People from like the East Coast flying. I mean, there's 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 a lot of good fests. There's this is hardcore. There's fucking That's on the East Coast. (laughs) That's on the East Coast. That's like their version of Sound and Fury. That's been going on for like twenty years. That's in what? Pennsylvania, right? Yeah, it's in Pennsylvania. They'll have bands like Death for Dishonor and like all the other. They always have fucking yeah, this is hardcore is stacked fucking... every fucking year from start to finish. It's every band you'd ever want to see, which is kind of like Sound Fury too. Sound mm-hmm. fi- Sound Fury, I think hey, it has you have more an upside mix. down cross up there, man. <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry. Don't touch it. It doesn't. If you touch it, then it it falls and it will never go back up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sound Fury definitely <laughs> has more of a mix bill though. But then there's also like stuff like uh, there's like Tsunami Fest and like fucking. Black and Blue Bowl and fucking Tough Love Fest. And there was one uh, up north in Seattle called, uh, I can't think of it now because they just had their last one, like where Zawaba played and shit. You remember? Rainfest. Oh, then, yeah, uh, Rainfest. Rainfest. And Florida has what? F, not FYF. What's the other one called? In Florida? Yeah, there's one in Florida. I can't think of it right now. There's this is hardcore. And then there's also Metal Hardcore Fest. Or what's it called? Uh,. The one that the dude that's like friends with the Casey Strain throws every year, it will have shit like Deathcore, like Oceano and a Casey Strain on it, but also have like stuff like First Blood and fucking Death for Dishonor. I think it's just called Metal Hardcore Fest or something. I don't know. I I've never, I can't I've think never of heard of that. Yeah, I'm fucking forgetting it right now, but yeah, that's it's it's always good, dude, because like things are always happening. So hopefully we can get more fest down in SoCal. We're actually trying to open up a place right now, like for a, like a little venue in Covina. So. We're working on that so we can get back to our scene. Nice. So, yeah. I mean, <coughs> and then speaking of other festivals uh, that you're looking forward to, what else? Are you oh, Warp Tour. To? Oh, Warp Tour lineup this year. I, I'm coming out of Warp Tour. I'm coming Looks out of really fucking. Good. I'm coming out of Warp Tour retirement to go <laughs> mosh my one. ass off in 110 degree weather to fucking hate breed, uh, Casey Strain, <laughs> Anti Flag. You know, Knock fucking CKY. 
Knock I'm a, loose the I'm mirror a fan of after knock the loose. burial. I don't care if anybody calls me a fucking poser. Fucking I think they're out. fucking great. Neck deep Contra- playing. Nice Contra- deep, yeah. Contra- Controversial band. <laughs> yeah. yeah, dude. Every, I don't know. There's people in the scene that say that if if you're into knock loose, you're a fucking poser. Really? They, yeah. They. I mean, there's a lot of that everywhere. It, yeah. it, 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 it doesn't make sense. You yeah, fucking listen doesn't. to what you want to listen yeah. to, dude. I mean. <laughs> I thought that was the point. Like, <laughs> so, dude, I people take hardcore to ED- too serious. I fucking listen to dubstep. If you're gonna fucking bitch about it, I, f- fuck you. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean, dude? Uh, I just, I just admitted that I liked it, Lady Gaga. Yeah, fuck yeah. it, dude. Dude, you know what's even more crazy is like when hardcore crosses over into like other genres, like when Murs and dude. Dibs like did a track with Terror, yeah, or like fucking, fucking dope, like dude. Jedi Mind Tricks did a track with Terror, like just shit like that, dude. Or like even like uh, I can't remember the fucking rapper's name, but he was like, "Oh yeah, I used to like go to shows all the time. Like I used to go see like fucking so and so band like in mm-hmm. early two thousands and shit." And I'm just like, "Dude, this is like one of those new mumble rappers." I'm just like, "What the fuck does this rappers. guy know yeah. about?" <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah. Like, yeah. So it's always fucking so- like the other day I was watching like David Grohl, Dave Grohl at fucking Lemmy's Lemmy's fucking uh uh what was it funeral. And Dave Grohl was talking about like him going to like Black Flag shows, yeah, and suicidal tendency and shit like that. I'm just like, fuck, dude. dude well, like, it, it, actually, I mean, if you think about it, too, Lemmy, if you want to go there, Lemmy went to fucking Beatles gigs, man. Yeah, so it's just like he was at Beatles gigs in that little fucking little hole that you know before they were even the Beatles. Yeah, he used to see them there. You yeah, know, yeah. Like, go so to fucking just, go shows like yeah. that. I mean, so you you never know who you're gonna fucking catch. I mean, go to a goddamn show. Yep. Go to a festival. Go to yep. wherever you can catch live music, man. Yep. I'll talk about that with new fucking new kids. It's like they don't want to check out new bands. They only want to check out bands that their friends are listening to and shit like that. Because obviously mm-hmm. we've been in for a while, so we fucking know like every band that's come out in the last you know fucking 10, 11, 12 years because we've listened to all that. But it's so hard to keep up with all the new shit. But like the new kids don't want to listen to like what came before. Like, if you show a new kid, like, Chromax, like, they're not going to listen to it unless, like, some band fucking posted it. They're not yeah. gonna, or their friends gonna, like it for yeah, some reason. They're not going to mm-hmm. listen to Agnostic Front. They're not going to listen to, like, fucking Lee They're not going to listen to Buried Alive. Like, they're not going to listen to, like, any of that, like, yeah, good Gorilla shit. Gorilla Biscuits. They're like, not Gorilla Biscuits. Anything like, like, like that. They're like, not going to know where the shit like, originated bad brains, from. Like, Bad Brains, Black Flag, like, Minor Threat. Like, even though, like, even now, because this guy got me all, like, fucking... What, what, what I call it? Audio um, ears and shit. Oh, like, I can yeah. Tell, like, he says shitty. I ruined his ears because <laughs> I, now I'm just like, oh, these shitty these you recordings are out, shitty. Yeah, because you pointed out like, hey, tell, man, me, this shit hey, sucks. tell me you don't go listen to a Henry Rollins record or a Black Flag record and tell me that's fucking hard to listen to because Dude, of the it is so bad, man. Yeah. Yeah. Or like the worst, the worst band fucking Charles Bronson, which like, <laughs> I fucking love. You know, fucking Power Bonds, man. Dude. But it's just like, it's just like, you know, these kids don't want to go back and like look into the history. So yeah, they don't want to. They don't want to ex- expand into the roots, man. That's yeah, where because if you where it if all you came fucking, from, if you go back fucking far out to beginning, it all comes down to fucking Sabbath and Ramones. So exactly. I mean, if you can't listen to yeah. those two bands, like why are you fucking listening to this shit now? Because this is where all this is derived from. So mm-hmm. that's it. Yeah, exactly. That's so it's. It is what it is, man. Because that, that's how I feel too. But even I go even back further than that. Like I don't. I love. Oh, I'm just sorry. Like, like for metal and punk, yeah. Because you know, I, uh, you know, I fused and became. You know. <laughs> hey, you, it's all rock and roll. <laughs> you should you should read them the meme that you sent us on the group chat about the the girl with. Uh, I know. Bring me the horizon isn't really like technically oh, hardcore. Yeah. <laughs> but, <laughs> oh yeah, somebody somebody somebody's bring wearing like a horizon, somebody was, oh. like some dude posted like some girls wearing a bring me the horizon hoodie and walked into Zoomies and so the guy you know it was like the manager like turned the music to bring me the horizon and she was like. What is this it was, shit? It was it sucks. Like, it was oh one of their God. older albums yeah. when it was they were like harder. their first album. Yeah. Like, yeah. Their first album. They were like just straight up like deathcore or whatever the fuck they were. And she's like, What is this shit? And like I guess like that dude just like fucking like laughed <laughs> like yeah, her like fucking poser. Oh man, that's so <laughs> that, fucking that was horrible. my first I just laughed and put poser on there. Like, dude, it's fucking great. <laughs> Yeah, so perfect example, point. man. Perfect yeah, fucking, fucking example. Yeah, there's a lot of fucking posers. I feel like I'm a poser now since I'm a, I'm not a fucking new kid. You know, SLC like, punk style, <laughs> right? SLC <laughs> punk style. <yeah>. Shit. Nah. <laughs> nah. Nah. Fuck. Fuck the new kids. Yeah. Low key, I mean, fuck them. New kids. All you youngins out there, you hear that? It's I just talk shit about ice bag injury just, says fuck fuck you. you. It's just the fucking. <laughs> there you go. That's the name of the new time, the just, new album. There's just this like <laughs> stigma. fuck you kids. <laughs> there's just this like stigma that you just can't fucking 
like gripe with, but I don't know, dude. Like this is definitely the only alley we have, and like hardcore has always been there for us. So as, as for me, and this yeah. this next album, I'm gonna make sure it's fucking heavy. Yeah, and just I'm it's fucking fuck, excited, fuck man. I am fucking excited of what is what is to come, man. It's it's gonna be beautiful. I'm gonna love every bit of it. I already love you guys, the sound and everything that you guys are putting out. It's awesome. I listen to it almost every fucking day. Thank you. Yeah, Thank you. definitely. That means a lot, man. man. Thank you. Dude, it, it's it's great. It's a great fucking sound, and I love what you guys are putting out. Uh, Ice bag injury, ladies and gentlemen. You can follow them on Facebook, Instagram, all that good stuff. Twitter, uh, like you said, Anthony runs your your Twitter account. So let's make yeah, sure. Sometimes you... I'm on it too, but he does the majority of posting. So we're yeah, also gonna be having a big cartel. Up oh yeah! Oh, merch. nice. Towards the end of the we week. Yes, big have... cartel with merch. You make sure you get your shirt. I'm wearing yeah. one of their shirts. I can't see the camera, but hopefully you can see the shirt. Yeah, we actually, dude, we have a lot of merch printed right now. We just haven't posted it yet because we're waiting for these shows to finish. So, like, whatever we sell there will go back up online. But we, we actually a... had one guy come and buy a shirt at the show, the last show that we played. Really? Yeah. yeah. Just some tight. dude? I, I just, yeah, some some guy. After we played, um, I went and sat behind the, the table because no one was sitting there. Mm-hmm. I was like, I'm just going to sit back here just in case. You know, just in case. I didn't, yeah. I didn't have any intentions of selling it. You know, it was just cool to have, like, a table with our shirts in it, on it. And um, this guy comes up to me, and he's like, dude, your guys' set was, like, super heavy and sick. And I was like, oh, thanks, man. Like, I thought he was just going to come talk. Like, you know, I I didn't think anything. He's like, hey, uh, do you guys have this kind of shirt? I think it was uh, the shirt that you're wearing, but in black. And, he, and you know, I was like, yeah, um, yeah, what size do you need? And he said uh, extra large or whatever, medium, whatever it was, large. Um, some shirt size, yeah. <laughs> three different sizes. Right there. <laughs> Actually, large, Actually, large, 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 you know, I mean, yeah. he might have you might have asked for a small too. I don't know. <laughs> all the sizes. Yeah, I got a got a name wall. You know, <laughs> very broad. Um, yeah, and then well, actually, no, I, I see what you did. That was a good plug for all the uh, sizes available. You can get them in extra large, large, small, medium. Yeah, I think we have a couple two X's too. So, yeah, see, there you go, a couple two X's. Yeah, special order. Just hit us up. Yeah, for the big boys, because we yeah. got we got a lot of big boy fans. Just, out there. just hit us up. We print the shirts ourselves. This whole band is fucking DIY. We yeah, don't fucking go. pay anybody for anything. Nah, I think dude. the only thing that we've ever paid for. It, well, CJ's paid for is the the stickers being made. That's it. Yeah, yeah. everything badass. else we and done. they are badass stickers. Yeah, I would. But I would badass. have made those myself, but they just take too. They just take way too. We long designed to do. them ourselves, though. Yeah, we nice. just had them printed. Yeah, and, you know, stickerified, <laughs> whatever the fuck you want to call it. Well, uh, yeah, I guess printed. Yeah, that's. I guess they just printed on stickers. Yeah, and, on vinyl paper. Yeah, and getting back to the the guy that bought the shirt. Yeah. So I I gave him the shirt and um he's like oh how much and I was just like you know what dude just shoot shoot me a five you know so like live at shows we're, I think we're just gonna sell them for five and then I think yeah, we're gonna dude. sell them for ten on we're not like trying to make any out. money off it yeah like, yeah honestly I just thoroughly just enjoy just hey but you know that's actually home. a great marketing campaign you could either pay ten online or go to a fucking show and pay five bucks yeah so, yeah. yeah. Either way, I mean, they're mm-hmm. walking billboards with our shirts on. Like, people exactly. are like, oh, dude, what is that? Like, is that a clothing line? Like, dude, me and fucking band, Nikki you know? rolled up in a Rite Aid, dude. I shit you not. People were looking at us like we're in some sort of biker gang or something. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like dude, look like their shirt. <laughs> yeah, got matching that's shirts fucking, on. That's fucking hilarious. <laughs> that's, dude, it was fucking awesome. <laughs> like biker yeah. gang injury. <laughs> so, he, <laughs> so, anyways, after I give him the shirt or whatever, he was like, hey, do you, uh, do you guys got a CD or anything like that? And I was like, oh, no, like, we have all of our stuff. Uh, for free, like online, you could just download it or whatever, or just stream it on Spotify, Bandcamp, iTunes, whatever, dude, whatever you have. And then um, he's like, "Oh, you guys don't have any hard copies?" I was like, "Oh no, not yet." Or I don't know if we plan on doing it, but it's all for yeah, free online, yeah. dude. Just go listen yeah, to we, it. It's, it's, it's for it's, you for it's free. free. Yeah. yeah, like we're not trying to get money out of it. And then he he's like, "Oh, okay." And then he pulls out his wallet and he shoots me another five. He's all here. This is for the album for free online. I'm just going to pay for it now. Cause I, I mean, was like, maybe he was really drunk and didn't understand. No, no, he wasn't that? drinking. He wasn't drinking. Like, I, I was watching him. Like, I, I, I was watching the guy. I, yeah, I, you, I didn't well, know who he was. Yeah. There wasn't, sadly, there wasn't, like, too many people there, you know, besides so the bands. You, yeah. Um, And I, I tried to deny it at first, you know. I was just like, nah, dude, just save your money <laughs> yeah, and, yeah. and just go listen to it. Thank you for, like, taking interest like that, you know. 
And uh, genuine fucking people, man. Yeah, yeah, it fucking still feels weird when people say, "Dude, you did a good job." Like it fucking feels weird. <laughs> it feels fucking real weird. Yeah, sometimes I feel like it's biased and like, really? yeah, or, or not. Well, if it's somebody you don't know, it's kind of weird, and it's yeah. just like. Really? And then if it's someone you do know, it's like, ah, shut the fuck. Yeah, up, it's like yeah. stop lying. <laughs> yeah. You're just being. You're just but being then I've been on the other side telling my friends' bands, dude, you guys played real well. Oh, yeah. like, really? Like you know? So it's just like I I can see like both sides, like where it comes from now. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody actually, uh, dude, somebody hit me up outside and he was like, dude, do you guys have any vinyl copies? Like I collect vinyl. <laughs> Damn. I want to, I want to copy your shit. And I was just like, fuck dude. Like I tried to press my own and like, it didn't work out too well. And he was just like, he gave me like all of his like shit, dude, like his Instagram and his contact. And it was just like, yo, like hit me up if you ever have vinyl, like when you have shows down here. So it's badass. Dude. Yeah, was, like, was that at the, at, at the bar? Oh, I'm not talking to Mike. Whoops. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Fucking. Yeah. It, 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 it was tight, dude. Like, Five years ago, three years ago, two years ago, when I thought I'd be fucking playing a band, just doing it. But you know, here we are, fucking doing it. Basically, I, I, awesome. honestly, an ice bag in one word is just, or not one word, just like in a simple phrase, it's just like fuck you to everybody else, like fucking mm-hmm. and fuck myself. <laughs> Listen to the lyrics, fuck you man. and fuck myself, dude. Fuck myself, CJ yeah. has yeah. some fucked up lyrics, man. Dude, it's, it's heavy, man. It it's, is fucking it's heavy, deep, dude. It is, and the I like the the aggression of the music that goes with it too. It, has a, it really a speaks, good... dude. It really speaks. You guys really fucking put your shit out there, and it, you can hear it. You can hear it in your music. You can hear it in your fucking vibes and every, everything. Yeah, next album, <clears> definitely <throat> going to be heavier. I think we're going to... I th- I think, dude, we're going to uh, for sure down-tune a little bit, too. So it's going to be a little bit deeper, heavier. There you go. Hopefully, angrier lyrics. Yeah. Yeah. There's a, there's a, just to give you a little hint, there's a little bit of Slayer in there now. Like how, <laughs> how, like how I originally wanted. Because, you know, originally, you, yeah. you've heard me play guitar. All I do is play fucking Slayer riffs mm-hmm. all day. And this guy's like, stop playing that. Play that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, just like, I'm just like, all right. Because <laughs> you know, Slayer's nice. my fucking favorite band. But, yeah, this, this upcoming, You're hoping, yeah, you guys this upcoming are, shit, just from the stuff we have, is fucking. Putting it, yeah. It's, it's definitely. It's all going to be there. It's definitely angry. <clears throat> well, <clears throat> thank you guys very much for coming in. I'm going to go ahead and call it right here. It's, uh, it's been a pleasure having you guys. It's fucking yeah. awesome. I got to give some lot, yeah, a lot of good information and everything. I got to give some fucking shout All right, outs. go ahead and give uh, shout outs. This is uh, your moment. You can follow Ice Bag Injury, like I said, on Facebook, Instagram, all the Twitter, all that good shit. Uh, yeah, all that good shit. Nigga. Go ahead, CJ. Definitely <laughs> shout out to fucking Same Son. Fucking with Connor, Logan, and all them. Special shout out though to shout Alex out. Armio from that band. He's fucking supported this shit since day one. Yeah, he's he's gone to every show, fucking done. He did guest vocals for us. He did guest like, vocals. He helped nice. us with the chance. He helped us with recording. Yeah, definitely shout out to Alex. Uh, shout out to fucking Nick. Nick fucking showing up to shows, fucking supporting us, wanting to fucking play shows with us and shit like that. So, and definitely Taylor for putting us up on fucking other bills and shit like that. Oh yeah, shout out to. Shout yeah. out to Burn Infinite. Burn Infinite. Yeah. Those are great dudes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You guys have been playing a lot of shows with them too. So Yeah. We're going to be definitely... We're hoping... I haven't told them yet, but I'm like planning some shit to go up north to go with Andy Soto. Mm-hmm. Andy Soto's got some spots up there with some other bands that want to check us out. So hopefully we can take Burn Infinite and the same song with oh, us. Oh, fuck many, yeah, like a dude, weekend That tour. would be so yeah. dope. We're trying, to, we're trying to make it happen. Uh, it's in the works. It won't be anytime soon. Probably be like in the summer, but you can only fucking help mm-hmm. for it, right? Yep. Well, it sounds like you guys got a lot going on for you. You got a lot to look forward to. Again, I want to thank you for coming on to the show. Uh, and uh, thank you, you, the audience, for listening. It's uh, This has been another episode of Rat Talk. You can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all that good stuff. And uh, keep a lookout for a GoFundMe account. I am going to start one. I'm looking at it now. And uh, not only is it going to be up and running, but you, the listener, will also be able to win some perks. So uh, keep an eye out for that. This has been another episode of Rat Talk. Ice Bag Injury on my Ice Bag Injury bitch. has been the f- motherfucking guest on here. Rat Thank talk. you guys for being on here. Fuck Convict, fuck Club, and fuck Disapproval. Ice Bag runs El Monte. <laughs> <laughs> right here, you fucking heard it. Ice bag injury, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to take it out on a, on a song called Holes featuring our very own Vincent Simpson again. Uh, thank you very much for listening. Good, thank you and uh, good night. One more shot.
fucking answer. Oh, yeah. Fuck the sheriff's station for shutting down practice today, bitch.